Hey everyone, how's it going? Edit here again. In today's video, we are going to be looking at something rather different, but something really, really cool, which I thought would make a great video. This is the Tivu by Divoom. Wonderful names. So this was very kindly sent to me by um, Divoom and this video has also been sponsored by them. So a huge thank you to them. Um, I try not to do sponsors that are completely unrelated. Um, I had to do a pretty unrelated one a couple of weeks ago uh, because as I said in a previous video that I have lost my job. So hopefully you guys will understand why I have to do these. But this is rather cool and um, I thought we could uh, you know, utilize this again, pull this back out. This is something that I uh, refurbished in a last, uh, one of my last videos. I'll leave the link to that if you want to watch that. So it's kind of related to that in a way. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and have a look at this thing. Um, it looks like it's been packaged really, really nicely. Um, it feels like a really heavy, heavy little parcel um, for me to be having a look at. So I'm rather excited, as you can probably tell, because I'm waffling on aimlessly about random things. I've also changed my uh, camera setup um, quite a lot. So although when I zoom out, there might be some um, strange shaking, I've increased the lighting. Hopefully it'll be a little bit nicer. And uh, I've also now got an overhead camera rig, which means my, my uh, I'm not obstructed by anything. So on the side then it says uh, to the pixel art. You can connect to it with your, um, your phone. Um, this one is Bluetooth and there's also a wire um, availability as well, inspired by light and sound, and then the uh, the front of it there as well. Again, so I'm really excited about this. You can probably see what that looks like already. Um, hence, why I'm so excited about this. You guys know that I like my uh, my min minimalist kind of desk setup and everything. So uh, this is hopefully going to look really nice on there as well. So let's go ahead and uh, take the knife and unbox the uh, the really nice high quality plastic box. Um, this is like a gloss plastic box and uh, everything on this um, little sleeve that went around is super nice high quality prints and everything so I'm hoping that's going to be a reflection of the product inside and oh my goodness they sent me the perfect one I'm so happy with that color before we have a look at that let's just have a quick look and see if there's anything interesting on the inside so there seems to be a little package there's also some little foam so we can just set that to the side and we'll see what's in here uh, some stickers, oh, wow, quite a lot of stickers actually, they're really cool. Oh, some little postcards, they're cool. Um, some stickers and a little manual, so that's very, very nice. We'll go ahead and put that to the side. And then the main attraction itself, please be in focus for this very important, crucial part of the video, the Tivu by Divoom. So, wow, immediately I can feel just how high quality this thing is. So it's got little tiny metal uh, or plastic legs which have been um, kind of chrome coated uh, with a little rubber bit on the bottom. So for it to sit down and that's not going anywhere. That is very, very hard for me to push that just there. I'm just gonna turn up the contrast slightly. Um, yeah, so it's got little tiny knobs and you're probably wondering by now what this thing is. Well, it is a small little wireless Bluetooth speaker with a pixel art screen on it, so you can display pixel art merely by just sending it across from your phone. And you can also um, plug in you know, an external um, aux cable, it's got a micro SD card slot and a uh, mini USB for charging. It looks like it's got a really nice grill at the top here, which is like where I imagine the screen's gonna come out of. All the buttons feel incredibly high quality, so there's only one last thing to do, and that's turn it on. Oh my God, that was, that was loud. That was bassy and that was loud. Right, so it's gonna be kind of difficult me displaying the screen here, but I'm gonna go and get the app on my phone. So changing the little dial on the front seems to uh, kind of circuit through the different um, interfaces that are on here, which correspond with this button here, which is for the channel. So as you can see, as I'm swiping across, it shows the different, um, the different kind of channels here. Uh, this is one where you can just display different colors. So I guess if you're going for some sort of a vibe on your desk with certain colors, then you can do that. There's also one to repel mosquitoes, uh, one to go into sleep, 
um, like a plant growth one as well, which seems interesting. And then this is a heart, so I assume that's some sort of a mood lighting. So the next face is probably one of the coolest ones. It's called the Cloud Channel, and that's basically just the top rated picks. Um, I guess it's kind of updated on a regular basis. Um, but as you can see, it circuits through lots of different kind of animations. There's a lighthouse there. Um, the quality of the screen, obviously it's not got a lot of um, pixels in it, but they're super, super high quality and really, really bright and vibrant. Uh, the colors look absolutely great. It's kind of difficult to show you uh, with these lights on, but if I turn them off, um, you'll be able to see there that they're super, super vibrant, um, even though my camera is kind of making them look slightly weird. So next up is a music visualizer, which I imagine is something that changes once we actually get some music going. So let's go ahead and get this kind of guy, which looks a bit like Bart Simpson, and we'll leave him on there. And then this is where you can get the custom pixel frames from. So if you go onto here, select the one you want, click make, and then it's gonna upload it onto the device for you. You can see it's downloading it, and then you have a little uh, random interface. So the reason this kind of ties into retro is because a lot of this stuff is pixel art, you can actually search for things like Zelda. And then you can get Link. So you can pop Link on there. Um, I think if we just press Make, then Link will appear on your desk after this little um, duck. So there's Link. Oh, it doesn't stay for very long. Maybe if we uh, remove that one, then click Make. So it'll just be Link running across your desk whilst playing Bluetooth audio. Really, really cool. If you're not a fan of Link and you want to get Mario, press search, see if we can get one in a similar kind of design. Oh, look, that's quite cool. We'll get that one. And then Mario jumps into a pipe, goes down and cracks on. So uh, the next one goes back then to the, uh, the clock. So I'm gonna display um, the kind of vintage um, clock face. I kind of just like like that one. You can also have the temperature, um, and then there's also a calendar as well um, to show you the, uh, the, the date and the day. So really, really cool, and then there's a weather one as well. So that's quite dope. It shows you a picture of the, uh, the outside, which is nice. And just to finish off then, we'll play a bit from my cassette. So there's a really, really loud and um, ambient kind of noise coming out of it. It doesn't sound like too bassy. Obviously the uh, Sony Walkman isn't exactly the best thing to, um, to try this out with, but it sounds really, really good nonetheless. I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, review. It's certainly something interesting. I'll leave the link to it in the uh, description below if you want to go and check it out. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll be getting back to uh, normal videos soon. Hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.